You ready to get started? What we'd like to do now is give you a very brief snapshot of a clinical simulation. And during this simulation, I, you will hear my voice, and I'm playing several roles. I will be myself. I will be Carl, the patient. I will also be the doctor, and I will also be an ambulance technician uh, arriving with the patient. So you will hear my voice in several different roles. So Leah, you ready to get started? Yep. Okay. Uh, Leah, this is um, Carl Smith. He's a 59-year-old male who started off with chest pain this morning about five hours ago. He's had one nitro. His blood pressure currently is 110 over 62. His chest pain is um, was just a few minutes ago at a 5. He's on oxygen at two liters, and we've started a line of normal saline, and it's going about 75 an hour. He has no allergies, and he has no significant past medical history. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Okay. Hi, Carl. My name is Lee. I'll be your nurse today. How you doing? Uh, I'm not feeling so good. How's your pain level right now? Can you tell me on a scale from 1 to 10? Yeah, it's probably about a six or a seven. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give you another nitro. This medicine's going to go underneath your tongue. You need to let it dissolve, okay? It's going to help with the chest pain. Okay. It won't hurt, will it? Well, it might give you a really bad headache, but and it might feel a little tingly on your tongue, but it's supposed to help with your chest pain, okay? Okay. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. All right. I'm going to lay you flat. Here we go. Okay. Did that help any? Kind of, but I'm still feeling really dizzy. Okay, are you okay? I'm gonna call the doctor just a minute. Hi, Dr. Davis. I have a 59 year old male that just came in with chest pain that started about five hours ago. He's received two nitro, um, high blood pressure 90, uh, 136 over 75. Um, he's rating his chest pain out of uh, five out of um, okay, what kind of rhythm is he having? He just went into a uh, run of VCAP. Okay, why don't, is he still, what's his blood pressure? Uh, right now, 92 over 68. Okay, why don't you go ahead, he has a line? Yes, he does. Okay, why don't you bolus him with 150 of amniodarone and start him on a drip at one milligram a minute, get an EKG and some labs, and I'll be right there. All right. And some labs. Sure. All right, Carl, we got some medicine to help your heart here. Okay, is there something wrong with my heart? Well, it's not beating the correct way, so. Okay. How you feeling now? I'm feeling a little bit better, thanks. How's your chest pain right now? It's about a two. All right. Good job, Leah, we'll end it here. <laughs> so that gives you a little idea. If you had a chance to watch the monitor, you could see his heart rhythm change, and Leah treated him appropriately. So, Leah, can you tell us a little bit about what it was like to be in the class and with telepresence and how that worked for you? Um, it was a great experience. I truly felt like I was in the classroom and was an uh, active participant throughout the class. So, um. We're finding that most of the students that I've talked to that are interested in the are in the BSN really want to be in a cohort, and this uh, telepresence actually uh, allowed that to happen. Our students, and as I was facilitating here on this campus, uh, we felt like we were in the second row of the classroom at UCCS. And so the discussions were live and active, and all of our activities that Sue led us through, we uh, felt like full participants in. 